Hey, what's up? Eric Martin coming to you from cold Green Bay, Wisconsin. About negative five today. Oh, man, it's cold. But, hey, I live in Wisconsin. That's what happens. Cold in December. Yep. At 1241 in the morning. Well, today we are going to learn how to get the waveform audio to show up in Premiere actually in the timeline for Premiere. Uh, pretty much all that you do is you take this little video over here or whichever video you want. Just drag it on over. Oh, come on. There we go. Throw it right there. Now, this is like the hardest part right here. Are you ready? Super hard. Pay close attention. Wapam. This little thing right there. It works. As you can see, through a team that specializes in bringing dreams to realities and together reaching new heights to achieve success. As you can see, there's not a lot of uh, audio waveform to be shown, but right here there is some. So if you're trying to line up um, your good audio versus your bad audio, let's say you have a the camera audio, you never really want to use camera audio, so um, I mean, sometimes you can, and I use it quite a bit, you know, it depends on how good the audio sounds, but um, you guys can, you know, it's always preferred to use a external, like a H4N Zoom. That works a, really well to, to with, with a, a good microphone that's connected to the H4N Zoom, so I should use something like that, so people don't go on here saying, hey! You just can't use the H4N Zoom, and it's it's gonna give you bad audio, which it probably will because it's the microphone. Your your voice will be too far away, and why would you use the H4N Zoom talking into a recorder while creating video? Kind of stupid. So yes, so you'll use the microphone, streamline it right into the into the H4N Zoom. Sorry, it is 12.43 a.m. It's been a long day, three gigs today, so it's been a long day. But here, know what? If you guys really want to see what it's really like to have a waveform, check this out. Actually, here we go. I had to uh, find an audio clip, actually a music clip. Uh, so, And of course, I probably should say this. I don't own this, this song. But here is a really cool... Uh, way to show you what audio form looks like. So I'll just put it right on there. Once again, we'll pop that down and see all these awesome like heart rate looking cool things. Well, that's audio. Pretty darn cool. And we'll just... And that is pretty much of how that all works. Well, if you have any questions, please shoot me a, a message on Facebook. You can like us on Facebook, Fallen Feather Films, or shoot me an email at eric at fallenfeatherfilms.com. Or also check out our awesome website. We have some cool things going on there, so you can check that out at fallenfeatherfilms.com. Well, if you have any other uh, requests that you'd like to see and be like, hey, you know, could you, could you show me how to do this quickly instead of being like that guy on the brings up his Call of Duty gamer tag and, and shows, you know, how he ex he killed that one guy, but then he'll use that in Premiere and have that screenshot. and Yeah, I, I really don't like that. So I try to create things very, very quickly for you guys to be like, hey, okay, you know what? All I need is just 30 seconds. How do you do this? Show me. Done. Bang. Boom. Bow. And so hopefully, hopefully you will be able to learn something new every day. See you guys. Bye-bye.